The subject of this video is methodology for measuring chainsaw speed and performance while in the wood. The hardware used is only a digital camera and personal computer. The software is an audio editor called Audacity. Audacity is a program that is available for various platforms including Linux, Microsoft, and OS X and can be used to measure the RPM and performance of a chainsaw uh, by means of its audio spectrum analyzer. This video shows some of the ways that I've worked out to do this. First, let's take a look at a video of one of my saws cutting cookies that will serve as a test bed. Before using Audacity, you have to extract the audio file from your video MP4. Use your video editor to do this. I use one called KDE and Live. You might use something different. In KDE and Live, you simply click on Project and Extract Audio. It will extract it to a WAV type file, WAV. Load the extracted audio file into Audacity. Next, decide what part of the file you want to use as a sample for your spectrum analysis. Look for a part of the file that is consistent. It doesn't have a lot of highs and lows in it. Uh, where the saw was in the cut under a constant load and running at its maximum RPM in the cut. I decided to use the second of the three cuts because it had the most consistent patterns and the saw was running at the highest speed while in the cut. The illustration shows part of the file that I decided upon. I indicated it by darkening that part of the file. Now we'll trim away everything except the sample. Put the cursor at the beginning of the sample that you want to take. Then with the left mouse button depressed, drag the cursor all the way to the beginning of the file. Press the delete key and all the selected data will be removed while the remaining data is moved to the left. With the left mouse button depressed, drag the cursor from the end of the area to be sampled to the end of the file. Press the delete key and all of the data to the right of our sample will be cut and we'll be left with only our sample. We can improve the signal to noise ratio by rendering the stereo tracks to mono. To do this, click tracks and then stereo track to mono. Now we're ready to create our spectrum analysis. On the toolbar, click Analyze. In the drop-down menu, click Spectrum. In the Spectrum Analysis box below the graph are four boxes. Set them to Algorithm, Spectrum, Size, 65,536, Function, Rectangular Window, Axis, Log Frequency. You'll notice that the axis that runs along the bottom, the x-axis, is frequency from basically 1 to 8,000 hertz. The y-axis along the left side of the box is in decibels and measures the amplitude. Now to interpret the graph. If you look along the x-axis in the area of 100 hertz to 200 hertz, you should observe a large spike. Put your cursor in the center of that spike. You'll be able to read a frequency below the graph. As I said, it should be somewhere between 100 and 200. Bear in mind that that's the frequency in hertz, not RPM. To get an RPM reading, you need to multiply the frequency in hertz times 60. So if you see a frequency of 140 hertz at the peak, your RPM will be 8,400, and so on. The spikes above the one in the 100 to 200 range are likely harmonics. If you'd like to see your data in other than a graphical format, click the Export button near the bottom of the Frequency Analysis box. It will generate a text file that will list all frequencies that were detected and show their actual frequency and their amplitude in decibels. Bear in mind that the decibels are a negative value, so a smaller number is actually a stronger signal. All software used in the production of this video, including the audio editor Audacity and the video editor KDEN Live, is free and open source software. That's free as in free speech and free as in free beer. Thanks for watching.